as today's workforce grows, unfortunately, so do the number of injuries on the job. David Green from Green and Phillips is here to talk about your legal rights if you've been hurt while on the clock. David, good to see you. Nice to see you. All right, so first off, what are some of the steps an injured worker should take if they've had an injury on the job? Number one, make sure you tell your supervisor and make sure your supervisor allows you to fill out a first report of injury so workers' compensation will know that you were hurt at that time on that job. And you want to do that as quickly as possible, As correct? quickly as possible. If you're severely injured, you're knocked out or severely injured and you go to the hospital, when you're able or your loved ones are able, able go ahead and find out who has that first report of injury form. Normally it's your supervisor or their supervisor, but you need to fill out that form. All right, what can a person expect once they tell their employer that, hey, I was injured on the job? You're going to get a call. You're going to get a call from a case manager. They're going to ask a lot of questions. Um, you know, it's okay to talk to the case manager. They're there to help you, to, to build your case, to put things in, in as far as the treatment that you need. They're going to set all that up for you. So you really need to go ahead and take to your talk to your case manager, nurse case manager, that can help guide you through the process. Some people have jobs where they have a company vehicle. What if the injury takes place inside that vehicle? You know, many times that can that happens. We see that all the time. Uh, you get struck from one company vehicle to another, so you have a workers' compensation case, and you also have a third-party case mm. against the driver and company that strikes you, or just the individual that strikes you. So that is very complicated. I remember years ago I had a case like that, didn't really understand it. It took a lot of years of practicing law. I've been doing it 25 years now to really understand how to do that. You have two claims, two cases, and you need a personal injury lawyer that specializes or focuses their practice on this type of case to handle it. All right, so on that note, in what situation should you go about hiring a lawyer following your workplace injury? Does it depend on the severity of the injury, or when do we get a lawyer involved? You know, I always say it's it's okay to err on the side of caution. Call a lawyer. Hmm. Call a local law firm like the lawyers at Green and Phillips. There are many other wonderful law firms here in Mobile. Call a local law firm based here in Mobile. Ask them questions and sit down with a lawyer, or just simply do an interview over the phone or FaceTime or Zoom or something of that nature talk to a lawyer, get the advice you need. We, we don't mind if you call. It doesn't matter how small or how large. We'll talk to you about your case. But some people are hearing this and they say, well, David, I don't have the money to talk to a lawyer. Absolutely right. Makes a lot of sense. Once again, my father was a paper mill worker. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a lot of money. The cool thing about injured injury cases, a lawyer that focuses only on injury cases, we only get paid at the end. You don't have to front any money. You never, never have to pay me anything. We only get a, a percentage of the total at the end of the case if we win. So that initial conversation costs you zero dollars. Costs nothing. But it can cost a lot of peace and mind in the long run. Absolutely. All right, very important stuff. So David, if someone out there is injured on the job or they know someone who's been or they just want to talk to a lawyer, get some information, how can they go about contacting y'all? It's very simple. You can come by 51 North Florida Street or 4th Avenue North, the Forbes Building in Birmingham. Call us at 251-300-2000 or go to greenphillips.com. All right, lots of different ways. David, good to see you as always. Thanks for stopping by. Likewise.